thank you everyone being here. Yes, it's my pleasure in here to introduce our team's work, mainly focused on Uh, many folks down the, uh, you know. Sorry. Okay. Uh, many folks on the wheel and real profile matching. Yes, my topic name is the wheel and real profile matching method on based of dynamic equivalent conicity. Uh There have six parts uh, in our in my presentation. The first thing is introduction. Uh, recently, yes, the railway transport is booming in China. The high speed, in the high speed railway area, uh, the China Rail Corporation checked 1.7 billion passenger prey in 2017. In the heavy haul area, uh, railway area, we have the 0 0.6 billion chance per year in 2016. And, uh, Check the Beijing, for example, we have more than 10 million passengers per day in 2016. Yes, the real and wheels profile matching is influenced uh, signif significant on safety, comfortable, and economic efficiency in the maintenance. So it's very important to characterize the wheel real contact condition. Next, I want to introduce the concept of the dynamic equivalent conicity. It's an ideal conical profile. It's the conicity is constant. But the practical will profile is one profile away trip. So we must uh, to calculate equivalent conicity. But mostly, uh, the research used the measured wheel Real profile and the measure the real profile to calculate equ equivalent conicity. John checked the uh, measure the gauge, the check gauge, the railway gauge to uh, consideration. So, <coughs> in our research, we we checked the uh, uh, measure the check gauge to consideration. So we call it dynamic equ equivalent conicity. At the right, the figure is show the dynamic equivalency example. As we all know, we know the relationship between equivalency and vehicle stability. The lower equivalent uh, conicity will lead to the carbon hunting, and the higher equivalent uh, conicity will lead to the uh, bogish hunting. So we need to real reprofiling or to real branding. Mostly, you know, in the China, the wheel, the wheel and the real maintenance is a joint work. Joint work. So we cannot do uh, just the real branding or real reprofiling. So we must find the total cost maintenance strategy. So <coughs> first we. We must do is the raise the real real contact condition assessment and to get the real 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 reprofiling and the real branding suggestion to make the most cost cost efficient and maintenance decision. So <clears throat> the second part is the data acquisition and the pre processing. Uh, just uh, just as I talked uh, in previous we necessarily the data for the dynamic Equivalent currency calculation is the measure the wheel profile. Now we will use the mini prof to take the static uh, mission, but we it's working it, it worked for the track <coughs> track side dynamic uh, wheel profile measure, measurement instrument, but it's more difficult uh, because we need to zero point. Six, uh, 0 0.1 uh, millimeters precision for the uh, equi <coughs> equivalent conicity calculation. And we measure the real profile, use the trend-based uh, measurement system. 
and we use the comprehension inspection train to check uh, to get the track information, include the gauge and the count. And uh, we, uh, when we get the, the real profile and the real profile, so we must use the processing method included to part. The first that we must to align, alignment the measurement method to the same base the point, include the rotation and the translation. So we must smooth in the method to, uh, to the uh, measurement measurement profile, include calculate the difference curve between the measure and the reference profile, and include boundary expansion, and we must filter the difference curve by the FFT and the inverse FFT. So uh, the third part is the equivalent currency calculation. We calculate the equivalent currency is based on rolling radius difference. I do I will skip the, the presentation. And we developed the cost elastic modification model. We, co we calculated the distance between the wheel and the rear around the contact points, and we calculated the deform deformation weights by the exponential function, and modified the rigid contact point by the com combining lateral distance and the deformation weights. The right figure is show the compare between the rigid, rigid, rigid model and the coarse elastic modification model and Adams the calculated results. The fourth is the fast calculation for dynamic equivalent constant. It's very hard to calculate step by step and one by one for the long distance the railway, you know. We measured the <coughs> rail profile and the track formation uh, every meter about four, four data. And we <coughs> measured all of the rail profile of the EMU. So when we to calculate the, calculate the uh, dynamic equivalent uh, <coughs> conicity is is very the time consumed. So we develop a fast calculation algorithm to, uh, to fit the question. So it's a procedure of the calculation of the dynamic equivalent conicity. We obtain the, <coughs> the equivalent conicity curve data based by the, by the pre-calculation. We first to set the real real profile database and we will pre-calculate the equivalent currency database, and we will smooth the equivalent currency database, and we put in the measured wheel profile and the measured real file to get the matching profile, and we will to do spring in, in operation and check gauge, so we can get a dynamic equivalent currency. Take a uh, 1,000 kilometer long rail as an example. If it's assumed that the wheel profile is divided into the six type and the sixth grade, and that the rail profile are divided into the three type, uh, uh, three grade, then 18 combinations are generate, generated. We just need five hours to accomplish the above calculation, use the fast algorithm, but we need 250 days for the transverse uh, algorithm, which would save much more time. The graphic is uh, it compared with the time sum of the two algorithms. And the fifth is real real maintenance strategy. We're making maintenance strategy on basis of the dynamic equivalent constant could be conducted by four steps. Four steps. First, we will calculate the dynamic equivalent constant and we'll find where to exceed report, reporting. And we will, based on the uh, two, uh, two steps to find the 
uh, determine the maintenance object, <coughs> object and uh, to give the maintenance suggestion. In the left, so if the equivalent capacity over limit for 80% 80, 80, 80 will, will, will provide matches, so we will to do the check maintenance. If the equivalent capacity over limit for each real profile matching, we will do the real maintenance. The last is the conclusion and the discussion. <laughs> so the first is the importance of the real real context data assessment, mostly in the China. Because we will have the joint, joint maintenance uh, department. And the second one is dynamic equivalent constant can reflect the real contact, contact condition. It's more accurate than just to take the real profile or real profile. And we developed a fast algorithm for dynamic equivalent constant from the calculate efficiency. It can be used for the practical to to do the maintenance. And the last one is maintenance strategy on basis of dynamic equivalent quantity, promote cost efficiency. And at last, at the end, I, by the way, I want to say we just plan, uh, you know, to choose a special railway to play a trail test for the aggression and the whole system. And we will, we will come all of you to cooperation for it. So thank you for your kind attention, thank you. <laughs>